The member for Port Adelaide. You're Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Will the emissions intensity threshold under a clean energy target be at, higher or lower than 0.6 tonnes? The Minister for the Environment and Energy. Well, the member for Port Adelaide should know very well why we commissioned, uh, through the COAG Energy Council, the, uh, the report from the chief scientist. Because in South Australia, the big experiment went wrong. The big experiment went wrong, and, and the member for Port Adelaide described it as a hiccup, and 1.7 million people lost power. So we have from the chief scientist a detailed report, more than 200 pages in length, with a series of recommendations from an expert panel. And we have said publicly we will give his report the due consideration that it deserves. That it deserves. We will give it the due consideration that it deserves because there are a whole series of recommendations. A clean energy target, which the Leader of the Opposition should know was the preferred recommendation over his emissions intensity scheme, Mr Speaker. And why? Because his emissions intensity scheme member was for Rankin. punishing coal, Mr Speaker. And the member for Shortland, the member for Shortland opens his mouth. The member but for has Shortland he told will them, cease interjecting. Has he told them the member for Shortland. There will be hundreds of people in his own electorate will lose their jobs as a result of his own policy, Mr Speaker. And as the member for Hunter opened his mouth, no, he's looking at his phone because he knows that hundreds the of people in Minister his electorate the will lose their jobs. And energy the will resume his seat. The Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's on direct relevance. You don't get a question more specific than this. It refers to the emissions intensity th threshold and asks whether the target will be higher or lower than 0.6 tonnes. There is no preamble, no rhetoric attached, and the answer has to be directly relevant. In addressing the Manager of Opposition Business's point of order, as he knows I allow ministers to have a preamble, the minister is now nearing halfway through the question. The manager of opposition business is right to point out it was a very specific question, and the minister needs to either address himself to the specifics of the question or wind his answer up. There is a very specific answer, Mr. Speaker, which is, which is the clean energy target was one of the recommendations out of the Finkel review, and we will give it due consideration. Absolutely. Okay. So, will the leader of the opposition come to the dispatch box? Dump, dump his emissions intensity scheme, front up to the member for Hunter and tell him he sold out the hundreds of workers, dump up, jump, stand up to the member of Shortland and tell him that he's going to lead to hundreds of jobs there. We will give this report its due consideration, Mr Speaker. But there are a series of important recommendations in the Finkel review. The clean energy target is one, but I do note, but I do note that there is a broad chorus of support. The manager of Opposition Business. Um, oh, yeah. The manager of Opposition Business on a point of order other than relevance. Yeah, other than relevance, simply on the minister defying the ruling that you gave. Yeah. If he, he has he has re, re, given an answer quite specific, where he said that they will noisy. they will continue to consider the matter, and then he's acknowledged. Well, in the remaining time, he'll talk about other things. It's a time limit, the, not a time target. The and he manager of opposition have to make business. Three minutes. Yeah. The manager of opposition business uh, is is correct at one level. It is a limit, not a target, and I've made that point myself. But having raised the point of order and the minister having directly addressed the point of the question, which is acknowledged. Uh, it doesn't then mean that the person asking the question gets to eliminate the three minutes. The requirement is that he is on the policy topic. He's answered the question as the manager of opposition business has noted, and there's 50 seconds to go. He won't stray onto any other policy topics. If he needs the next 50 seconds, he's got them. Look, uh, Mr. Speaker, the energy issue. The energy issue is an absolutely vital economic issue and environmental issue for the future of our country. The Prime Minister has outlined the trilemma that we're seeking to solve, and how our focus is on the engineering and the economics. The Labor Party is, on, is focused on ideology. 
reckless targets and costing jobs. And we won't trade out the hundreds of thousands of people whose jobs rely across the country on affordable and stable power. That is the coalition's objective, and as far as the Finkel Review, it provides a lot of food for thought.